first you ask what is OB? So then the first thing you have to mention is OB is a study. Then the next question, a study of what? A study of the effect of individual behavior, the effects of group and teams, and the effects of organizational system that lead to organizational effectiveness. Yeah? Effectiveness. So you should uh, understand this point and then you make your own definition. And that is about the, the definition of how we. So then now we study about organization. So what is organization then? Okay. What is organization? What do you think? Okay, so organizations, you can define like, you can understand and define like this. Organization is a collection of people, as a group of people, as a set of people. A set of people is mean more than two, right? Okay, a set of people, a collection of people who work together, do the coordinations, cooperations in their actions so that they achieve their individual goals and organizational goals. So remember, there are two goals to achieve. The first one, people join the organizations, do things together so that uh, they achieve their personal goals. And when they work together in a team, they help the organization to achieve the organizational goals, this is lecture goals. Yeah? So in general, you should understand organizations as a group of people who work together to achieve uh, personal goals and individual goals. So now we go to the second thing, uh, the values, the value, uh, the value of OB. So now let me step by step uh, mapping the knowledge, the, the lecture uh, of today's actions so that it helps you easy to, uh, to keep in mind these key points. This is important. You don't need to learn by heart, but the point is that you understand. So when you understand this point, the main things, then it's a lot easier for you to use your own language, your own understand, to share. And uh, by understand, you can, can it affect to your behavior. You lead people well, you do things well with people. Okay, so now I try to do, do the map here. Now we talk about the study of OB. Okay, like this. So then, the first thing we talk, we already talked about is uh, definition, about the definition. Okay, then we have to think what is OB? So we already uh, talk about what OB is, okay? And then we also understand what organizational is, right? And now we talk about the values. The value of OB study. It means why, why we should study OB. Okay, why we should, why we should study OB. So we, we, we should study OB in terms of, okay, for an individual, for, for each individual. For each individual, uh, OB provide you understanding, help you understand and analyze 
and destroy all behavior uh, of people in the organizations or people live and work around you. When you have the knowledge of OB, you can observe the behavior, you understand immediately why it is like that. And also we can predict, okay, what people are going to do, okay, as an individual. We, when we have a systemic, systematic knowledge of OB, we ourselves understand ourselves, understand people around us. And as managers, okay, so all of you here with me, you plan your future to work as a manager, so listen. When you have the knowledge of B, it helps you to improve, enhance, or change the work behavior of your, of your employees. For example, your employees first come, they don't know what to do. They behave like at home, for example. Then at work, you have discipline, you have policy so that you can change their behavior that should appropriate with the new uh, work work setting okay you can also have individual and groups and the organizational as a whole achieve the larger goal the larger goal that's it that's it the the very big uh, big things that manager have to have to do as a main duty is to achieve organizational so how you achieve the organizational goal so you have to understand people. You have to understand people. You have to understand the employee in your organization so then you can lead them to work and to think and act in the, the similar, in the same direction so that at the end you can achieve the overall organizational goal. Okay, so for, for individuals, you need to have the knowledge of OB for managers. You need to uh, have the 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 um, knowledge of OB, and and OB provides for organizations. OB help organization to become more productive. When a group of people working well together, then it lead to better results. It lead to uh, goal achievement. Okay. So in general, the why we have to study OB. The answer is that because OB provide us tools for these three aspects. So the first one for individual to understand, to analyze and you know describe all behavior of people. For manager, I'll be provide tools to enhance, to improve, to change the behavior of individuals, groups, and the, the organizational as a whole, so that the organization can achieve the goals and OB provide organization tools so that organizations can become more productive, can perform, let's say, high performance, etc. Okay, so that's about the, uh, why we uh, we study OB. So, what disciplines make up the OB? So, we go to the third thing. Disciplines. Uh, disciplines uh, contribute to our be. Discipline contribute to our be. So there are four very big disciplines which 
contributes or let's say which for help form the content of the study of OB. So uh, the first big discipline is the the psychology. Yes, psychology is the center. So psycho psychology provide uh, such things at individual levels so that uh, we understand people well. Okay. So it, at at this one, we we go deep into uh, study individual, let's say ability. Attitudes, uh, personality, motivation, values, learning, etc. Okay, so psychology. Uh, help us to understand all of these things uh, also about let's say work stress about mood about emotions etc so all of these This is the analysis is at individual individual level. Okay, this is individual at, at individual level. The second big branch of study is social psychology. Social psychology. So this brand of study provide OB uh, such uh, aspect like uh, behavioral change, attitude change, uh, communications, group process, and decision making. Okay. So here, behavioral change. Communication, decision making, decision making, and uh, uh, attitude change group process. Okay. Group or team process. So, what is it about? This is this go to group or team levels. This is the unit of analysis is group or team levels. Okay. So the second uh, go to the the third the third discipline is sociology sociology okay this is a big branch of study so sociology provides us something else compared to social uh, psychology so here about communication power conflict okay we go deep into uh, study communication uh, conflict conflict solving what else uh, powers Interrupt behaviors. Interrupt 
interrupt behaviors. We all we go deep into these points later in separate chapters. Don't worry. So we this is the order the the aspect that we have to cover in in the course of, of in, in the study of OB. Uh, the next thing is 